our theme for uh, last year and the upcoming year. And I think over the past year, I can speak more about that, um, we've started recycling. You, you see more effort to recycle. I think the recycling bins outside of every every hall and every building, I think that's a really big deal because it makes it really convenient and like there's no reason for people not to recycle. So. I don't know too much, I guess, exactly about what they're trying to do besides, well, what exactly the name of it is, Renew the Face of the Earth, become more green, I guess, uh, environmentally friendly, which I think is a good thing because this is where we live and it's kind of important that, you know, we take the steps and the precautions necessary to ensure that the world kind of lasts for uh, a few more years, I guess. Um, I know that they're making the new building green. I don't really know what that entails per se, but there are signs over it that says the new cap is going to be green. And I know that they have fake recycling in the cafeteria. Uh, the Green Campus Center, of course, and the uh, recycling on campus, and uh, trying, trying to get everyone like you know turn out the lights and trying to get that around, and trying to get that message around. Um, I guess just more like recycling and being able to re uh, reuse things and build buildings or to make other kind of products. Uh, I know that they're doing our building over there, like taking it apart and putting it back together in a green way. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what that means. You know, they have the three trash cans in the calf separate our trash, although no one uses it. Well, Spring Hill claims to renew the face of the earth, but every day we use plastic and paper in the cafeteria, and they have these little pearls that say that we're recycling it, but we're really not. They're all going to the same poster. So even though we claim to renew the face of the earth, we always Lots of slogans. They're doing a great amount of slogans, and that's what I've noticed so far. Lots of slogans, and that's about it. Well, there's a bunch of different projects going on right now. Uh, first and foremost, the new Campus Center is going to be the pinnacle of this Renewing the Face of the Earth movement. Uh, I just got out of a meeting with the Board of Trustees where they finally unveiled what our our plans are and we're gonna have walls that are made out of recycled banana peels and tiles that are made for acoustics that are recycled I don't even know what but the building is gonna use a lot of new and innovative recycling techniques and is also gonna capitalize on using natural lights and things like that I think the students are reacting really well. There's been a lot of support for all of the programs and as soon as the recycling program was put in place, students were out there recycling and the program's taken off enormously and every, every week when they come and pick it up, we have tons and tons of recycling. So, I guess I'm trying to do my part. When I see a letter, I pick it up. Like, um, one, one night outside skips, um, a broken beer bottle, like grandpa swept it off. But I mean, I'm not gonna say it at the time. Uh, I turn off my lights every time I leave the room. I see a lot of students doing, especially like um, playing basketball. A lot of people they might have Gatorade bottles, and when we walk out the gym, it's convenient that they're right there, the blue bins. So I know a lot of people do actually use them, but I know if they're not in the area, a lot of suits aren't. Um, you generally don't use them. Not at all. Not at all. Like the thing over here, the paper, food, uh, whatever else. I don't think I've ever taken the time to, to separate them. Not once. Um, well, we try to separate the trash, but it's kind of hard to do that when you know they're not really doing anything about it. So we're not really doing that much of activity to help. I think anytime you're trying to get more than yourself to do something, it's, it's challenging. And so when you're trying to get a community of 1,500 students and 500 faculty and staff to do the same thing, it's a challenge. fresh market with all organic and locally grown foods and then we have giveaways that we're going to be raffling off and we have a live band playing.
lots of fun stuff. <laughs> so we have everyone a bag with five earth bucks in it, and what they can do is they can go over to the farmer's market and purchase organic like fruits and vegetables for with these earth bucks, and um, then it's like it's a real farmer's market. And I got this flower, which is three dollars, and I got some peanuts and an orange, and I just love the earth, so I wanted to come out and support it. I love it. It's a gorgeous day anyway, so. It's a lot of fun get, uh, getting everyone out here for this. It's a good cause. Well, I think overall, like with the whole, uh, I mean, this is only my first year here, but I feel like, uh, like overall, there's been a lot of like change towards going green, just with like more emphasis on like even just like recycling. I feel like it's a big step to even have like this out today to show people other, other alternatives. What we're trying to do with this is like change people's mindset. Because if people just think, like I feel like students will go out of their way to do it as long as they think of it. Like some people will just throw it away like, oh, I didn't even think to like recycle that. So if we can just get people to start thinking that way, I think everyone will start really participating. My company that I work for, Aramark, we are very much behind it. Uh, we, Earth Day is a good example. Uh, we have Green Thread, which is on our website, which is a very uh, green and uh, awesome website to go to to check out what Aramark's doing. We have a recycling program on campus, uh, which is going over quite well from what I can tell. Students are participating. Yeah, I do think they're going to doing a good job with the recycling things that are outside the building, but as for the calf, all that trash goes in the same place, I can guarantee that because no one is going to dig through a trash can and separate the things from like the jerks who just throw everything in one bag. So it's pretty impossible to throw, to recycle those bags. So I think that's like pointless. The recycling companies in Mobile will not take a plastic plate or a cup if it has any kind of food or any debris on it. So our goal was to separate plastic, paper, and waste and at least get them to, to recycle what we could and that's not going over well. The students are not participating as much as I'd like, but when we can, we, we recycle what we can. With the Aramark Recycling Program, the reason why we haven't been able to revert back to our regular dishes, regular plates, is we don't have a dish washing facility and to wash all of the dishes that we produce in a day would require a significant amount of water power and a specific type of facility. We don't really have that at our disposal right now, so we have had to resort to using the paper and plastic products. I'm hoping maybe people would start bringing their own like cups and stuff just to really reduce the uh... I actually think there's definitely a big change from last year because last year there was definitely a scarcity of recycling bins around campus and I mean I can't tell you how many times I've been outside and seen people actually using recycling bins and you know putting bottles in the correct places and honestly picking up around where the trash cans would be I, th I mean it's great I think it's it's definitely it's better now but I think there's there's still a few more steps we could take to get to where we need to be. The new building will have a space right out our, of our kitchen's back door that will allow us to separate our garbage and our plastic and paper. Right now our space is limited and it's just really difficult. We're just doing a good job getting y'all's food out every day. <laughs> but we would like to and maybe over the summer we'll come up with a plan. I won't guarantee that but we're, we're trying to come up actually with a dishwasher where we don't have to have so much paper and plastic. That's my goal is to eliminate it next year when we're here, but it's that's not a done deal. Sure, um, really, I think the main thing that bothers me is the, it's the cafeteria situation. I know it's hard, but I know that we're not recycling as we should be doing. So if we could do something about that in the future, that would be great. When we get back to our new building, all of our waste in our kitchen will be recycled, and hopefully we'll have a better process for students to uh, participate, and it's not such a, I don't know, difficult task as it seems to be right now. Next year I, I really would like to see more paper recycling on campus. Not many people know that there is a paper recycling dumpster behind the rec center and there's a bin right outside of the library and there's really not a lot of opportunities for paper recycling and that's really the waste that a lot of people generate. So I really would like to see a lot more paper recycling on campus, specifically in the residence halls, because I think that's where a lot of people generate a lot of waste.
I think the biggest thing that students can do turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth, don't let it run, uh, turn off the lights when you're not in the room. And a lot of people don't realize that just leaving your cell phone charger plugged in, even when you're not charging your phone, it still pulls power. So just making those conscious efforts, you know, take a few extra steps to recycle a can or a plastic bottle. It's, in the long run, it helps to save a lot of energy.